right, so here we are. We're setting up our, uh, our under slab foam. This is a lighter density foam. It's non-structural. We're going to have a four inch slab on top of it. Uh, the guys here are shooting grade. Um, we're shooting a specific line on our story pole, transferred down to the 3 8 minus, and we're compacting it, uh, trying to use a quarter inch tolerance maximum to get the sheet dead level. After he shoots this in, we'll go through and compact it one more time, and we'll start sh setting our sheets in. You can see how the sheets get just kind of aligned the whole way across, then we stagger the joints as we run them back, and then we'll fill in the last piece. Uh, then comes our vapor barrier after that. You guys are just about to set our 12 inch EPS. Uh, this sub base right here is uh, firm, undisturbed soil with four inches of three quarter minus on top of that that's compacted, and then one inch of three eighths minus that's compacted. So this is a three eighths minus. It's got three eighths with fines, and it compacts down super tight. We're uh, now assembling our uh, under slab floor system. We have our 12 inch EPS that we've laid down on our 3 8 minus compactor. Next step is to lay down this 15 mil poly. Um, we're going to have this 15 mil on top of our EPS foam. Uh, since we're building here in Oregon, uh, it gets wet in the winter, and if we were to run this product like this way, which is also acceptable, we'd create a giant bathtub. So we'll install our foam. The 15 mil runs out, over, down, and it comes up our stem wall and then it comes underneath our uh, sill plate. All the seams are taped the whole way around and all the pipes are gasketed. This is a airtight seal created.